WFW 5620HW0 Whirlpool Front Load Washer Doesn't Turn On. Are you getting any error codes or messages from your Whirlpool washer? How old is it? No, none of the buttons work. How long has this been going on with your Whirlpool washer? What have you tried so far? I tried a couple different plugs six months old. Anything else we should know to help you best? It just happened today. Hello, this is Mark. I'll be assisting you today. Ignore the phone call request pop-ups, dash unless you want a phone call. Those are automatically sent by the site, not me. You will see them pop up. If you do not want a phone call, ignore them. Hi. That model number is just so you know. Can you please recheck the model number on the model number tag? Customer attachment December 16th, 2019, 154 and 38 seconds AM. Is it on there? I didn't see anything else on the front. The dryer is stacked on top so I didn't look back there. I texted a picture. If it's not on there, I'll have to try tomorrow. My tenants are asleep so I can't go looking around. It's there, but I'm not finding it in any part site I use. That is the model number but I don't know why I can't find it. Usually the sites I use have every model number of all appliances. Let's try without the model number then. Okay. So is the display devoid of all lights? That's right. And you made sure the outlet had power correct? It's one of those stupid displays that doesn't have physical push buttons, so I spend a long time just pushing at it to turn it on. I put it in an outlet that was being used for something just for it. Before. No breakers are popped. Okay. So if you know that you correctly turned on the washer. And still nothing then the issue is going to be one of two or three things. On many of these washers, there is a noise filter, MFI filter, that helps prevent the electronics from damage when the voltage spikes. That part could have gone out. Or the computer board that supplies the voltage to the main display has failed and is not sending voltage to the display board. Or the display user interface board has failed. Hmm, how much are all those to fix? To determine which part has failed, you will want to have a voltage tester and test for voltage on the line outside of the noise filter if there is one on this model. And if that is good, you test voltage to the main control board, and if that is good, then you need to see if it is sentient voltage to the display. A noise filter is about $40. Main control board is about $150 to $250, display can be about $200. And if it's a touch screen it can be more like $300. It was only $400 to begin with. If just get another cheap one, if it comes to that. I'd. How do I take the panel off? Not sure how to get to the where I can test the voltage. You only need to remove the top panel to check the noise filter, but since I cannot find this model I don't know if it has one. That would be what you would want to check first though. Then you would look back by where the electrical plug connects at back of washer, and trace the wires to see if there is a noise filter. 
and basically check voltage on the line outside. If it has 120 volts, then you know it's good. One moment and I can find you a photo of what one looks like. They look like this and the electrical cord is plugged into it on the side and then wires continue on to the computer board. Here is a video of how to access the noise filter on a Whirlpool washer, but this is if this model has one. Typically they do. HTTPS colon slash U2 dot B slash 7 Oakry TJ 060. Thanks. I'll try it tomorrow. Okay. If you wanted to bypass the filter, you can just measure voltage at the main computer board where the line and connects to board. If you have power there, then it's going to be either the main computer board failure or the display failure. Do these washers have any kind of fuse that could blow? There was a voltage spike because a fuse in the breaker panel was flipped when I first got home. I reset it, but the washer still didn't work. The noise filter acts as a fuse on this. They don't have any other fuses, although I think they should all have fuses as voltage spikes in the electrical system claims more computer boards than anything. It's even in a GFCI plug and number 55358 semicolon and number 56614. Not impressed with this one and number 55357 semicolon and number 56900. So if this model has a noise, EMFI, filter, then it most likely prevented damage to the boards. Hopefully there is one on this model. Most of them have it these days. Just to make sure I understand dot 3 is where the power goes in, and I should get a 120 reading out of 1 and 2. You got it. 1 is the hot lead and 1 is the neutral. 1 lead on both terminals will let you know if it is allowing voltage through it. K. Thanks. I'll have to try tomorrow. Sounds good. Tomorrow is my day off, but I will check back to reply if you did message me. If you don't have any voltage there on those two terminals, then you need to try and find a company that has parts for that model. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to answer any other questions or clarify anything for you doesn't affect what you pay at all, just whether or not the site pays me for my time. You can give your rating by selecting one of the five stars located on the top right of the question page. Have a great day. Thanks. Will do. Thanks. I will do a little research to see if I can find somewhere that has this model. And if I can find it, I will post a link to the part. Great, thanks. I have you five stars. Gave. Awesome, thanks so much. Just come back to this chat if anything else happens and I can assist further. Apparently the washer is working this morning. My tenant said this happens intermittently. Any idea why that could be? It can be a loose connection on the computer board. It can also be a computer error. However, if it happens sometimes, and it's the same thing each time, it's either a loose wire connection or a computer board issue that is in the early stages of failure. If you wanted to try and look at the issue, I would just check the computer board to make sure that the wire connections are all secure and not loose. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.